this video is going to be how to ruin a rock or how to make wire silver. It's a beautiful nugget. You can see the silver popping out on it. And I found that with the metal detector. What I really, really wonder is if I can make wire silver from this by etching it in muriatic acid, diluted muriatic acid. If I happen to ruin the nugget, the other name for the video is going to be Extracting Silver for Refining. I've got a buddy in BC who wants to try making a button of silver. That might be his rock. Let's give it a go and see how it works out together. So the green is just, I think, algae because it was sitting in a damp spot. I believe the rest of the rock is calcite. A little bit of what I'm thinking is silver has a bit of a coppery or brassy tone to it. So there may be some nickel in there as well. So this right now is just water. We'll add HCl or muriatic acid. It's not fun stuff to play with. You got to be really careful. It can harm you if you breathe it, burn you if you touch it with your skin. So etching, you always have to be cautious. And we've got some bubbling happening. See you in a bit. Okay, it's been a half hour. At one point it actually slid into the solution. It got unbalanced. I think we're at a go, no go point. Do we continue? Do we do something different? Or do we stop now? Let's take a look. Now it's looking interesting. Muratic will not affect silver. It won't affect gold or platinum either but it will affect nickel, copper, cobalt, other things you may find in these rocks. And of course it does dissolve the calcite. What I might do is while it's still not too fragile is cut it. Now it's not wire but it is kind of clustery and crystally so I'd like to be able to display that. So let's give it a cut and then put it back in the acid. Definitely a little bit of silver. You can see it being real shiny in there. But this end piece, I'm just going to bathe that and knock the silver out for the refining. I'm not seeing a heck of a lot in there. So now, when we're done, our sample will stand up. There's the little one. Bye bye, rock. There's the big one. So I added a couple sticks just to steady it. See in half an hour. And it's been 25 minutes. It's still going. I think maybe we'll take a look. Well, that's looking cool, eh? Now, interestingly enough, what was shiny silver has now gone black. Back in the bath. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Well, there we go. The little one's right there. 
still bubbling a bit, but it's getting little. And the other one, I don't even see any bubbling, so let's take a look. So the little one actually looks really cool. Look at that. Look at that. Dude. <laughs> and here's the larger sample. You can see some pure silver in the nooks and crannies. And then my suspicion is the black is really a mixed metal. Of course, including silver. Okay, so it's just water in the pan now. Let's just give it a little swirl around. That's a little plate of silver. So is that, see? It just wasn't attached properly. And then some real fines. So, I'll be sending this to McBain in BC. Plus some other silver. And I'll see if he can't make a button. So, thank you for watching. This was fun.